Good day, grade tens. Welcome to week number six. We're looking at number patterns. To start off looking at basic number patterns, let's look at an example and show us how we can look at basic patterns. The question we're given asks us, how many students attended Einstein School in 2006? And this little table, they tell us how many attended in 2001, 150 students, and then in 2002, 225. 2003, we had 300 students, but they don't tell us 2006. So what I think they want us to do is to see the pattern in how many uh, students, the population of students grew by every year, and just assume that that pattern continues through 2006. So we need to figure out what the pattern is from one year to the next, and then we're going to figure out 2004, 2000 and 5, and then 2006. So the assumption that we're making in this problem, and I think that the problem wants us to make, is that whatever the pattern of growth was in these three years, that they continue all the way to 2006. So let's see what's happening here. When we go the first year, what happens to our student population? We go from 150 to 225 students. And the easiest pattern to think about is, well, just how much are we increasing by every year? So how much do we have to go to from 150 to 225? We increased, well, if you increase by 50, you get to 200, so we increased another 25, so we increased by 75 students. And then to go from 225 to 300, how many did we increase by? Looks like 75 again. 75 plus 225 is 300, so it looks like we increased by another 75. So the pattern here is that each year, 75 more students attend the Einstein School. So let's just continue that pattern. So let's add another 75. Let's add another 75 to the 300 in 2003, and we'll get 300 and 375 in 2004. If we assume the pattern continues, let's add another 75. Let's add another 75. And then what will that give us? That will give us 450 students in 2005. If we assume the pattern continues, and we're almost there, let's add a final 75. 75 plus 450, if you add 50, you get to 500, so it's another 25. So it's 525. So that would be the answer to our question if we assume the pattern continued, that 525 students attended Einstein School in 2000. And six. Right, grade 10. So that was a very simple example of how you can see patterns in sequences. Let's look at another example, shall we? Our question asks us, how many toothpicks will be needed to form the 50th? The 50th figure in this sequence. So let's look at this sequence. So the first the first figure in our sequence, they look like little houses. How many toothpicks are here? We have one, two, three, four, five, six toothpicks. So our first object here, our first figure, has six toothpicks. How many do we have in our second figure? Well, we're going to have these six that we had in the first, right? This is the first figure right here. Let me just trace it. That's the first figure right there. And then how many new toothpicks are we going to have? We have one, two, three, four, five. So we have six plus another five. So we have the six in the original one plus another five, which is equal to 11 toothpicks. Now what happens in this third object, or this third little toothpick house looking drawing thing? So we have our figure from the two, the two houses. So we have those right there. This is the exact same thing that we had as our second object. So that's that right there. And how many more do we have? Well, it's going to be the same thing. We've just added on this other extension to our house. You can view it that way. So we have one, two, three, four, five. So it looks like every time we go down this sequence, or we uh, uh, add a new term to the sequence, or a new object to the sequence, we're adding five toothpicks. So here we're going to have 11 plus 5. There's 11 toothpicks in this part of it. And then we have another 5, 11 plus 5, which is 16. Same thing over here. We have 16 in this part of the drawing. That part of the drawing is going to be 16 toothpicks, if you draw all of that. And then we're going to have another 5 right here. So this is going to be 16 plus 5, or 21. So how can we figure out 
how many toothpicks we're going to have in the 50th figure. I mean, we could draw 50 of them, but it's going to take us forever. So all we have to do is realize the pattern. Every one, we're just going to add 5. Or we can even come up with a formula for the nth figure. How many toothpicks in the nth figure? So here, in the first figure, we have, you can view it this way, in this first figure, we have 1 plus 5 toothpicks, right? We have this 1. You can imagine that was always there, and then you added 5 right there. So that's our first term in our sequence. Our second term in our sequence, what do we have? We have 6, which is 1 plus 5. So we have that 1 plus 5, plus another 5, plus this 5 right here, plus another 5. And then our third term in our sequence, what do we have? We have all of this business that we had in the second term. So 1 plus 5 plus 5. And then we have another 5. We do it in green. We have another 5. And then finally, in this fourth term, what do we have? We have, so in the fourth one, we have everything that we had in the third figure. So 1 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5. And then we add another 5. We had a fourth 5. We add a fourth 5 right there. So why did I do it this way? Because I, I, wrote, I wrote this first one as 1 plus 5 instead of just a 6, because you can see, well, look, I had a 1, and then I had 1 5. Now I have a 1, and I have 2. I have 2 5s. Now I have a 1, and I have 3 5s. Now I have a 1, and I have 4 5s. So you might see the pattern. If I had the nth term, if I had the nth term right here, I will have a 1 plus n fives, right? The first term has one five. The second term has two fives. Third term has three fives. Fourth term has four fives. So the nth term, if this is, you know, if this is ten, it's going to be one plus ten fives. Or if it's n, if I'm kind of abstracting a little bit, I'm going to have one plus ten, sorry, one plus five times n, right? And try it out. If n is equal to one, it's going to be five times one. If n is equal to two, it's going to be five times two. If n is equal to three, it's going to be five times three. So that when the 50th term, if we're talking about the 50th term, what's, how many toothpicks are we going to have? We're going to have one plus five times 50, right? n is 50 here, which is equal to what? 5 times 50 is 250. That's 250. And then we add 1. We're going to have 251 toothpicks will be needed to form the 50th figure in this sequence. Right, grade 10. So you could see that actually there was very easy to actually work out an equation that helps you work out the pattern. Well, once you've seen the pattern, it's very easy to work out the equation, and then we can see the last term. So we'll be doing that more in the next couple of videos. Have a great day.